Hi, I'm Jim Culler. I'm a veterinarian with UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine. And a cow doctor. That's Bessie. She'll pop in from time to time and show off her dance moves. But today we're going to start our on-farm food safety module and we're going to talk about mad cow disease. Like move, move. Let's talk about it. So today we're going to start on mad cow disease. Whenever that's mentioned, everyone wants to panic. They get very worried. They get very scared. But as you'll see, the actual danger is very minimal. What is mad cow disease? It's called BSE, or bovine spongiform encephalopathy. It's part of a larger group of, of diseases called transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. And so with mad cow disease then, uh, it's caused by small proteins called prions. And these prions then end up in the feed, the cows eat it, and then the prions infect the nervous tissue and cause the problems. The cows get wobbly, they can't step, and it's very obvious to everyone that that cow has a problem. In this picture, what we have is a histopathology slide of the brain of a cow, and you can see at these certain areas um, that the white holes in the brain. So the brain looks like Swiss cheese, and that's what happens. We have the protein on the left, that refolds itself on the right and then this prion then causes the disease in the cow. And then the cow can't walk properly, she can't move around, she has these problems in, in motor skills. And she gets this prion through consuming contaminated feed. Now we should understand that bad cow disease has never originated in the United States. There have been a, a cow found that came from a different part of the world into the United States. She was imported, but there's never been a mad cow originated in the United States. The safeguards are put in place by the, by the USDA, and they sample on a routine basis for the presence of mad cow disease in our food chain, uh, and it's not been found. So that's a quick overview of mad cow disease. We want you to look at our webpage where you can get a more in-depth module on this disease and on other hot topics that we um, put forth. So thanks again. Talk to you soon.